In this video, what we're going to be talking about is prototyping a mobile menu uh, in our phone homepage here. So I've selected the phone homepage here uh, in the design tab. Uh, we're going to click in a prototype here and the default is going to be no scrolling in the scroll behavior. So this is how it starts off. So if I hit play here, we're going to pop open into the prototype window and it should do nothing, right? Here's our menu, it doesn't do anything. The page does not scroll with, with the mouse. And then we've got this red color on the background of the prototype. So let's make a couple changes here. So to start, we are gonna go in the prototype or on the phone homepage. So that's at the top level of the frame here. And we want to go into the scroll behavior and set that to vertical scrolling. So now we can scroll the page. Also right below it is the show prototype settings. You can see here's that background color for the prototype. I'm going to click inside of there and, and change it to a dark gray. Let's hit play again. And now our page should reload. We've got a darker gray. I loaded uh, our self promo page here uh, because we have that one selected. Let's select the phone home page and hit play and reload the home uh, phone version. And now we see we have the gray background and using the mouse we can actually scroll. Okay, let's start uh, by wiring this button here first. So to make your mobile menu, what you need to do is create a brand new frame. So this frame here, the phone menu, is the exact same dimension as the actual uh, phone prototype that we have here, 390 by 844. So create a new frame. Notice I do not have a background color on this. Okay. I've copied over the logo area, the button area. So here is our hamburger uh, button. On this one, it's going to be a close button. And then I've created now some menu buttons here. So we've got a nav background. We've got a clickable uh, nav button area, and we've got text. So you want to go ahead and design your mobile menu on a separate frame that we can link to. So now coming back over here, I've selected the top. Notice it is a group here. So I'm gonna drill down into the menu icon section here. And I'm in prototype and I'm gonna click add interaction. So the interaction I wanna do is on click. What, what I wanna do is we are gonna switch from none. We're gonna open an overlay. So previously we've navigated to, we've scrolled to, in this case we wanna open an overlay. When you do open overlay, you get an option here. It's gonna ask you which one. So I wanna select phone menu. So this is the overlay that I want to choose. Okay, It's going to give me some options here. It's centered. You can align it at the top, top left, for example, top center. Uh, so now it's aligned top center. I want to close. This is on by default. Close when clicking outside of the prototype area. This is not uh, the phone, the prototype area. And I'm adding a background color. It looks like it's uh, defaulted here. It's black at 25% opacity. All right, so let's close this, hit play here, and let's see what happens. Number one, uh, we should be able to click it now, and there we go. We've got basically our prototype. The close box does not work because we haven't wired that in, but clicking outside of that should basically close it out. Okay, and none of these buttons are wired yet, so good start so far. Now, uh, let's go in there. Uh, on this here, let's go ahead and click and look at a couple of other options that we missed here so it was an instant in this case i want to change it to move in so it animates it when i select move in i get to choose the direction it moves in from let's start and move it in from the side here and uh, you've got some easing ease in ease out is what i'm going to choose at 300 milliseconds okay so let's go ahead and close that Hit prototype again let's reload it and in this case now we can see now it animates in Okay, it still doesn't close. Okay, it closes outside of that, but that won't work. Okay, we want to be able to wire in this button here. So let's come inside of here, the button close here. I've got that selected. I'm going to click, again, I'm in prototype. I add an interaction on click. I want this to just close the overlay. So no options there, just close that overlay. Okay, go ahead and hit play. Let's reload it. And now, in this case, it's not working because I had the phone menu selected and it's not an overlay here. It's actually the actual interface. So I want to be on home uh, phone homepage and hit the prototype button. Now, when it loads, we can click on this. It animates in. We click the close box and now it's working. So let's go in there and make some, a couple more changes here. So 
on this button here on click let's animate it from the top down so we can just change that real quick hit play and now it's going to animate in from the top that's very fast there you could slow it up again you got a lot of little options and choices here you can slow it up by going for example doubling the time there making those changes there wiring the actual buttons is the same as before okay so there you go that slows it down quite a bit okay one last thing we might want to do is when it comes down here uh, let's select add the background color I had that unchecked just so we can see what that looks like I think this will feel a little bit more like most mobile navs there there you go so now it's grayed out the background here okay it's saying hey you, you got to click the close box or outside to bring it up okay now uh wiring these here remember on the free version of figma here we can make on click but we we can only we, it's not going to work if you scroll because when you select scroll it's saying what do you want to scroll to and what we have is just our nav buttons here because there's nothing on this page, you see. So with this particular free version, we're not able to scroll from the mobile menu. What we, we're going to have to do is navigate to phone homepage. So in this case, web design, we'll go to web design. In the higher versions, you can actually will be able to wire in graphic design and actually scroll. So let's hit prototype one last time. And now we've got our close box there again we were in the phone menu instead of phone home page let's update that and it should load now we've got our overlay our close box and our web design is going to navigate to web design so that's it for uh, prototyping mobile navigations that are overlays so that's how you can prototype your mobile menu